Hi, Mr. Leonard. This is Madison, and this is my paper roller coaster project. All right. So basically, right now I'm making the columns and beams with the cardstock paper, and I'm doing the tick marks for when folding it, and they're two centimeters um, each. So, and here are some of my columns and beams that are going to be on the first layer. And Show how floppy that one is and then how tight these are because of the braces. And so you're going to put a brace in here. But. Okay. This is one of the major elements, the funnel, which is now finished. And I found out it was easier to put it on the bottom instead of the top. It was just too hard to start it from the top. And it was kind of easier to work from the bottom up to test each one. So. Alright, so basically I've completed the clothoid loop, as you can see right there, kind of. And um, this part took a lot of testing, it was probably the hardest part, just because you had to get the steepness just right for it to go like up and around. Because a lot of times the marble would, would go like right here and then just kind of drop. So I had to make it kind of really long and steep. But now the marble, if you can see real quick. Now the little marbles will go down and around really well, and then into the little funnel. So, that was the hardest part, but I got it. So this is the tight spiral, and this one was the hardest, well, probably the hardest to part to make because it was getting it so tight around the thing and trying to make it work, and it was really difficult, but it's kind of two layers and it leads off into this thing and down into the loop or in the cloth hood loop in the funnel so, yeah. so this is the first test where the roller coaster is finally completed with all of its elements so here we go go Ready. You've got to be kidding me. So after that first test, I found out that after I actually painted the coaster, the water had actually warped the tracks a little, so the marble didn't exactly go down as fast as when, like before the coaster was painted, and it didn't go up and around the cloth oil loop, and it just kind of stopped. So I had to reshape the track and test more. All right, just one. So after that test, I finally got the smaller marbles to go down around the track perfectly fine. But I wanted to work with a larger marble and see if it would go down as well as the little ones did. And it did, but there are some big changes. Like it went down slower and took harder turns. So that's why I used a lot of the supports in the beginning that I showed you. Mm. Like you can kind of see how much more force the larger marble has, but the speed on some of the turns and stuff are a lot slower. And also when it goes around in the loop, it launches out of the cloth oil loop a lot harder and more forceful than the smaller one. So because the larger marble had a greater mass than the little ones, it hit the back side of the funnel a lot harder, so I had to reinforce it with a lot more tape and beams. Go. Just a couple. So here you're able to see where all the potential energy changes into kinetic energy and all the marbles are able to go around the track pretty easily. So because the radius is smaller in the clothoid loop, you don't need as much speed and the marble can still get around.
So even though this project took a little more time than I thought it would and had a lot more testing, it was actually funner than I thought it would be. So thanks for watching.